Kai Conscious Waiheke is a food waste reduction project here on Waiheke Island. It's a Waiheke Resources Trust project and this year we're working with Blackpool. We've been working within the Blackpool community on a project called Kai Conscious Waiheke, running some events at the Blackpool School. The problem is how do we get food waste out of garbage bags? One of the possible solutions is a community-based response. The first aim is to get people to reduce food waste. The second aim is to get people to compost more. The third aim is to develop a toolkit that could be of use in other communities. And the fourth aim, which came from our work in Blackpool, was really about connecting community. I've managed to deliver over 150 Kai Conscious Waiheke kits to Blackpool residents. We're part of the case study, so obviously each week we record our waste on this sheet uh, and we just pop down, every time the bin's full, we just pop down the date, what the weight is, um, anything about the composition of the actual tub. And it's a fairly straightforward process and it just uh, allows the Kai Conscious team to have a look at how the, the waste has changed, what the composition is, whether that's changed. When the pilot was put in place and we actually had the little bin to measure your food and the graph and the information and all of that, that gave us a real impetus. Kai Conscious Waiheke focuses on stopping food from becoming wasted. If you think of the waste hierarchy, you've got reduce, reuse, recycle. Kai Conscious Waiheke is focused on reducing food waste. And this is quite different from lots of other projects on there which focus on what we do with the waste at the end of its life cycle, so things like composting. Well, the key things for me is that it's changed the way that I think about using food, buying food. So it's just made me more mindful on the shopping front, the cooking front, and then obviously reusing um, stuff that I've made too much of. People can visually see how much waste they're producing, they're going to become more responsible for it. I think because the tub is sort of sitting on the bench, it's there as a constant reminder, so you're much more mindful of what you're putting into it. It's helping people become mindful about what it is they're using and being creative about ways they can um, reuse food. There's all kinds of things you can do with your leftovers. Stocks and soups, Potatoes, shepherd's pie, breadcrumbs, panzanella salad. Anything that's not used, for example, the pears or the apples, I'll just stew them and freeze them, um, or put them on top of muesli, or put them in porridge. And anything else that's not used goes in the freezer. So I normally have a few more, but you know, I just I put things in containers. Um, so in the past that might have ended up in the fridge for a couple of days and then been thrown in the bin. So now fish pie, somebody will eat that this week. We are dealing with food waste pretty well. I mean, we always give it a second thought if, we, if something should go into the compost or rubbish. Reducing food waste at a household level is really useful for a number of reasons. One of them is because it can save you money. I think one of the, the key things that people may not realise is exactly how much money is wasted. There's research that's been done in the UK that suggests that up to one third of the food we buy ends up in landfill. So if you think about that and how much money you're spending at the supermarket, a third of what you're spending you could be effectively throwing away. If you go back to times in our history where you know, things have been really tight economically, people didn't waste food. They couldn't afford to. And for an increasing number of households that is becoming a reality again. All of the gas it takes, all of the water it takes, all of the people that have been involved in getting your food to your table, when you waste that food, all of that is effectively for no reason. So there's huge environmental consequences for that food cycle and we're really trying to get people to understand the bigger picture. We've got a community like Blackpool now where people are really starting to beef up their gardens. It's an opportunity for people to be able to exchange and swap vegetables, sharing with neighbours, just sharing food. This is the worm farm hiding behind the tree. Worm juice, fantastic fertiliser for your garden. Once you set up, it's costing you nothing. 
you're just putting your food waste in, taking off the juice and putting it in your garden. I've learned about the Bakashi system, which I think is a fantastic system, and just putting the waste in a bin and you know, taking that out every day. And that will go in the garden. It's pretty easy. And this is the, the gold juice. We've got um, got a compost and the worm farm and pretty much the cooked food scraps go to chickens. They'll eat, I would say, probably almost anything. There's alchemy, really. I mean, you feed scraps and bugs and layers of pellets on one end, and you get these beautiful little protein-packed powerhouses out the other end. <laughs> For me, I think everybody should have chooks. Get rid of some of the pets that do very little. They don't lay eggs, do they? And it's not difficult. While we want to achieve reducing waste to landfill, we also want to see like we want to see people employed. We want to um, see communities connecting together as well. The best thing about being involved in the project has been feeling connected to the Blackpool community. People are getting to know who their neighbours are. They've come along to a composting workshop um, or a pop-up pub, and they're meeting people that live just down the road that they've never met before. Tonight is the Dog and Pony, which is the pop-up pub. It's a pop-up pub, which means that you have to bring your own everything. It's amazing. Um, obviously there's a need for it and we meet new people every time. People we didn't know that well before, the mildly acquainted now, we're kind of sharing a lot more in common. It's really cool meeting your neighbours and making those connections. It makes us feel like a community. We've been making really positive changes to how people approach resources. It's definitely worked in Blackpool and we've seen some really valuable connections form within that community. We know that what we're learning is going to be valuable for many other parts of New Zealand. This is something that we need to do as, as a human race, not just as a community. And the Kai Conscious Project is really taking that next step which society as a whole, global society, has to take, which is, you know, A, you can't generate the, the waste to begin with, and B, the little that you do generate has to be dealt with and can't just be chucked in a bag. The Waiheke Resources Trust is a not-for-profit organisation that was established in 1998. They've been doing a lot of great work in the Waiheke community, including actually handling the physical waste uh, for about eight years. But what we do now is we support people with advice, information, we do research, projects and events. This project was established by the Waiheke Resources Trust and funded and supported by Auckland Council. Thanks to Auckland Council, the Waiheke community and particularly the residents of Blackpool. If you'd like to be involved, please visit our website for more details.